Hello, welcome to another Writerly Witterings, and a different one this time because this is an unboxing. Because I received today this magnificent box all the way from the Netherlands. I am a keen user of fountain pens and I like my inks. I have loads of them all along here. I've got a bunch of diamines, I've got some Yoyaki from Hiroshizuku, I've got some Agis I've got Pelican, I've got J. Herbin, I've got Waterman, I have inks of all sorts. But some time ago I saw a different type of ink that really appealed. And the main thing about it was it was in the most beautiful bottle for somebody who uses fountain pens to try out. So I thought I'd make a video about it when it arrived. This could be thrilling, it could be a disaster. Let's find out. Okay folks, here we have it. A nice large box from the Netherlands from P.W. Ackermann. Now I've got to apologise in advance because I have an old fashioned camera and it doesn't have an autofocus on video playing. So I'm hoping this is going to work. But I'll apologise for the number of times I have to keep nipping behind the camera to make sure it's in focus. Right, from P.W. Ackerman BV, Passage 15, the Netherlands. Here we have a beautiful box. Here I have a pen knife. Now let's see how these things are packaged, because I've heard great things about the way that the company sends their goods. Now I've got to say that I was really confused about what type of blue to go for. And the nice folks at Ackermans sent me, because I asked, a swatch with all the different colours of blue and dark ink that they did for me, which I thought was really rather wonderful service over and beyond. So here we have a whole bunch of bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Oh, that looks like a little collection of sweeties. More bubble wrap in there. Oof. And an invoice. Better not lose that. Okay. Invoice goes down there. Bubble wrap goes in there. Box goes out of the way over there. And we have this lot. Let's have a look inside. Actually, no, let's have a look at the sweets first. That looks quite interesting. I don't know where these... I assume they're specific Dutch sweets. Hmm. Hop, yes, I assume. Coffee. Well, I'll look forward to experimenting with them later. No, I'm not sharing them. So, here we have a very well-packaged Hopefully, bottle of ink. Ooh. And I'll say one thing. Manufacturers of sellotape and other sticky things are not going to go broke while Ackerman's around. Oh, that's nice. So it's actually wrapped up like a birthday present, which is quite Pleasant, really, because this was actually ink that I bought with money that was given to me for my birthday. So how suitable can that be? Nice little sticky label with Ackerman written on it. OK, let's see if we can get it open. Ah! Please help. Oh, flipping it. When in doubt, get a knife. Much easier. <laughs> and here we have a box. Okay. How does that show up? Yes, that seems to be in focus, I think. That's good. So it's um, Dutch Masters. Limited colour collection, it says. From P.W. Ackerman, Den Haag, The Hague. And a picture of the bottle. Let's get it open, because I have been waiting for some years to see one of these bottles. They look 
divine. Oh wow, look at that. <clears throat> now, Israel's Zeblau. I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it because I don't speak Dutch. I'm hoping that this is fully in focus. It looks pretty good for me. So you can see that now I've let the ink fall out of the top. So to fill a pen, all you do, making sure the lid's on properly, is turn the bottle upside down, the marble falls out of the way, and then the marble falls back into the way so that the ink all stays up in the top. I'm going to let a little bit back, just because this writing desk is on a slight slope. And I'm also going to change this slightly so you can see the pen, because that would make life a lot easier for people, wouldn't it? So here we go. One Visconti Homo Sapiens, nice medium nib. Just going to oops, put it into the ink there. Shove it down quickly. And that sucked up a good quantity of ink. So, having inked up, move that into the background with some other delightful inks. Now what we can do is look at some writing. My writing is not the very best, so I'll apologise for that in advance. However, I have also been asked if I could talk a little bit about my travelling desk. There you go. This is what I call a travelling desk. It is very straightforward. It's two sheets of leather. They're actually shoe leather. Bonded together with a separate strip that's just got elastic on the back. And with that, I can have a strip to hold a sheet of paper in place, either at the top or, astonishingly enough, at the bottom. There you go. And this is a handy little tool, I find, when I'm going away, I can slip this bit of leather straight into a backpack or anything, because it's about the size of a 15-inch laptop. I can carry this around. I usually use it in the sitting room when I'm just down watching TV and I want to have a notepad nearby. Um, it just gives you a smooth surface to work on. OK, that's all I'm going to say about it. Somebody asked me what I do in terms of uh, carrying my leather pads around and I thought it might be of interest, so I've just done that. However, the thing that was on it is much more interesting just to show how helpful Ackerman can be. When I was asking about the different types of ink, they sent me this through, a nice little swatch with a whole bunch of the different colours that they had. And for my own purposes, I was deeply interested in the Zydepart Blaugreen, Blaugrun, or however it's pronounced. I, I really rather like that greenish tinge. However, I like Prussian blues too. I like really dark inks. The only trouble is that I found with the Zyder Park and the Landa New Aust Indigo, if that's even remotely close to the correct pronunciation, when you're writing with a fine nib, it seemed fairly obvious that almost all of them were really difficult to assess what sort of colours they were. So in the end, I found some different pages on the internet, and that's why I eventually came down much more in favour of Israel Zeblu or Zeblau. However, that's all pretty much by the by. Thank you very much to Paul Ruta for sending through those swatches. They were enormously helpful. So, how does this write? Now the question here is, how do I see what it's writing when the screen on the camera is right round the back? I know, I'll just give up and write and then put it into focus if there's any issues with it. So this, oh, I love that colour. A quick of 
Israel's Zeblau A U W. Now, what I like about this is when it goes on, it looks quite a a palish blue, but you can fairly quickly pick up the teal as you're writing. It's um, going to. The lazy dog is no doubt a Rhodesian Ridgeback because my little hound is asleep behind me again, even as I speak. Speak? Speak. Ha! Um, this is a good Conway... Uh, it's not a Conway Stewart. This is a very good Visconti pen. Got beautiful feel to it. I love these palladium nibs. They just feel so much better. The paper itself is Clairefontaine, which I think is 90 GSM. Um, and it is lovely paper to write on. Very, very smooth and soft, but you do get a bit of tooth with it, which is nice. Now, no idea how wet an ink would normally be, but there's no doubt at all that with a Visconti, you're going to get quite a lot of liquid on the paper when you're writing. But I must admit, I think that colouring is just beautiful. It is blue, it almost comes across as a pale blue, but almost as soon as you've started writing, and with this it happens really very quickly, you get shading occurring. So I'm now going to adjust things so that I can get things in focus. Another use for a cup of tea, there you go. If this cup of tea goes over, I'm in trouble. But let's just zoom in on that knot. And I think you can see, yeah, that's not bad focus. So just looking here, paler at the top, darker at the bottom, you get really nice shading out of a medium nib. It does go on quite dark. You can see these stripes here, but it seems to almost get paler the longer it's been on the paper. Beautiful, beautiful ink. I'm really delighted with it. Very, very glad that I ordered it. Um, it is hideously expensive, but let's put it into perspective. That bottle's going to last me a very long time. And it will all be used. What more can you ask for? Right, I hope that was of some interest. Um, I apologise for the fact that things are really rather disorganised while I'm trying to get used to the idea of doing closer work with the camera. Um, one day I'll be able to afford a new camera and I'll have a swing out focusing uh, screen at the back so I can actually see what it's doing while it's facing me. But trying to do selfie type shots with a camera that's pointing away is not very easy. Still, never mind, life was never supposed to be easy. Hope that's of interest. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this, do please subscribe, share it and uh, hit the like button because that, that helps me know that people are actually enjoying it. And apart from that, thanks very much. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.